my name is Ellen. Today we will be doing your December 2019 prediction. So before we get started, I just wanted to say that this is for Sun, Moon and Rising. Do check out your 2020 astrology prediction. It was really amazing um, if you haven't seen it yet. What else I was going to say? All the information about everything is in the description box. I did feel that for a lot of Geminis, December 2019 is a very romantic month. It can be. So I don't know if it's like a really committed relationship or you just guys are going on a date. But I feel like this very, you know, Mercury retrograde and Scorpio might have affected you more than you admit. But I feel like at the same time, you guys, it's like had this all these aha moments and all these realizations and all of this understanding. So let's see what happens for you in months of December. Because I feel like maybe even in the previous months you've realized something. It's almost like suddenly everything started making more sense, if, if, if you know what I mean. What is happening for all my Geminis in December? Alright, your first card, the Sun. The Sun. So it could be dealing with the Leo, yes. The sun is shifting from Scorpio to Sag, so Scorpio or Sagittarius even as well. I feel like there is this sense of lightheartedness with you right now. So it's like with Mercury retrograde, you went very deep, maybe trying to understand some things, maybe like deep in your meditation practice, focused on work, focused on getting things done. And I feel like right now in December, this energy is shifting. Like, you guys are still maybe very much dedicated to some kind of maybe spiritual event practice, getting interested in a cult and all of these things. But at the same time, there is this part of you that is just wants to be all out and about, wants to be social, wants to play. I feel like there is also some kind of friend very present in your life, maybe who you go out with, who you're meeting people with. We have here the moon. Wow, the sun and the moon. I feel like... There is a person in your life who is also, it's almost like they are polar opposite. We have here the sun and the moon. This is the luminaries. This is also the masculine and the feminine energy. It's like this person you met, it's almost like you don't want to rush into labeling them as a spiritual connection or as a soulmate or as whatever. But I feel like here with the sun and the moon card, there is someone in your life who could be very much a person you will, you know, you will be with, or at least who is a person who is going to be a very big part of your journey here. Because the sun here represents the light, the masculine, the day, and obviously the moon is the feminine, the night, the feminine principle, the giving and receiving. Let me see a little bit more. Two of Wands. I feel like you are taking it slow with this person, but I feel like you've made the one. Like some Gemini that I'm tapping into here, you guys are trying, this makes sense to me now more. I feel like you guys are trying to keep it light, you guys are trying to be like, oh yeah, let's just get to know each other, let's have fun, let's not rush, let's just work maybe a little bit more deeper on manifestation and on, you know, like diving deep with my spiritual practice. But it's like you're not in a rush to label this connection as something. However, What's very interesting is with the sun and the moon, especially if you met someone this year, this person could be the one. This could be really the one for you. And with the two of wands, you're starting looking into future right now. Where do we go from here? So I met the one. So, but where do we go from here? Now the story needs to unfold, right? Let's see what else. Somebody could have met this person here also while traveling. Traveling and pursuing education. Five of Wands. There is some difficulty, there is some challenge on... Um, I'm seeing here like working out the practicals, the practical matters when it comes to this connection. I feel like here someone maybe also have gotten out of the previous relationship just recently. Maybe it's just a lot of things on their plate right now. And I'm feeling like a part of you really wants to dive in deep that, but at the same time it's like you don't want to scare off another person as well. We have here the, the, the Hermit. Someone here could have, I'm seeing specifically Moon and Virgo even as well. But... What stands out to me a lot is that 
there is a spiritual search for something spiritually looking for something so again i don't know if you guys were on some kind of even retreat or you were on some kind of like meditation and you met this person or there is just an element of spiritual connection here but it's almost like it is here but it's like you you or them are not fully acknowledging that i feel like it's you actually it's not them how does this person feel about you we have here oh my god <laughs> we have here king of cups so this person also knows that you are someone special here this person might even feel unusual amount of feelings for you they could have piscean placements in their chart as well cancerian as well i'm seeing here scorpio i'm not sure not so much but could be as well but i feel like this person has all these feelings for you but they're not sure honestly if you are on the same page because why you also have this king of pentacles you might have again i'm seeing for some of you maybe you just got out of other relationship or maybe there is just a lot of people interested in you you're very magnetic right now for a lot of people and you know 2020 for you it's only going to continue it's going to be crazy year second half check out the yearly prediction i talk more about it there so it is like someone here also doesn't want to feel or look like they're this idiot who is like so in love with a pretty girl or pretty guy and i'm seeing this is more a feminine energy because they also see that you have here all of these people you know lighting up for you and they don't want to look like an idiot. We have here eight of swords. So we have to be very careful here to not end up in a situation where you both are going in circles while they are suffering from some kind of insecurity that they're not good enough for you. And while you are also confused, like why does this person act so strange with me? We don't want to go there, right? We don't want to. Eight of cups. I feel also someone here is afraid that you are the one who is going to leave them because you here with the eight of swords and eight of cups you are going especially jupiter going into your eighth house you're going to be exploring the occult very much even like with sexuality diving deep maybe experimenting different things i'm seeing somebody here is like into you know like all kind of kinky stuff as well and another part of you is also searching for something here with the Eight of Cups and the Moon. Finding like your feminine essence, maybe like even going deep within what motivates you, what are some of the things you, you really want, why do you want these things. So a part of you right now is inaccessible to everyone. A part of you only belongs to yourself right now. And this is what makes you even more mysterious for all these people. All right, we have here Queen of Wands and Four of Pentacles because you look very confident, you look very attractive, you look like someone, you could have Leo in your chart placement as well, like you look like someone that, you know, is worth getting to know and like you look like a very, as a very attractive woman or feminine energy and it's like a part of you is also a little bit aloof which makes you even more attractive. But the issue here is you don't want, if especially you met a person who is good for you, for this to, to end up as a missed opportunity. Let's see where things are going here. Because I see there is a person who caught feelings to you like very fast, but they're scared that there is a lot of people around you. That's what I'm getting. Five of Cups. Yep, someone like disappointed. Someone is, is sad. Like, I don't know if they are afraid they what they have is not enough for you. Maybe it's also past disappointments this person has. Six of Swords, it could be even about the past heartbreak. I also see the Gemini that I'm tapping into here has an ex. I feel like you could have been married to this person or maybe even in a very serious relationship with them. This person is still hurting over the fact that you've left them. Um, they're trying to put up the front how they are all about just their spiritual work and their spiritual journey and their spiritual progress. Um, this person could have like Virgo slash Leo placements in their chart. However, they are very much hurt deep inside whoever this person i'm tapping into very interesting something could have happened in september as well we have here the hanged man yeah because like part of them feels this spiritual this unconscious like this very like 5d type of connection and dream space with you and like a part of them still can't move on from the fact that it's over and it is over with the world whoever this person was dealing with it is over cycle was complete you both served each other's purpose in, in in each other's life seven of cups but i feel like they're still confused about something here and it's weird because this person i think is very like spiritually um 
aware like they could themselves be practicing something they themselves could be like a meditation into meditation into some kind of practices here astrology maybe maybe even tarot as well but they are confused here about something with the seven of cups i don't feel like they fully understood everything that happened between the two of you part of them is so hurt they cannot i think accept the truth Two of Swords, exactly, exactly. Cannot accept the truth. We have here Page of Pentacles. It's also a person who is very focused on their work. They also feel like they've given so much to you. Three of Wands, I think that you are over it. You're just looking towards the future. You're, wor you're looking towards the future. You're working towards the future as well. Nine of Swords, there is sometimes a little bit of anxiety. Maybe even this Mercury Retrograde has brought a little bit of anxiety whether you're on the right path here or not. I feel like a lot of things you're worried about, they're not, they not real, like a lot of things that keep you up at night. It's more about the fear of the unknown, I think, with the full card here, because you're on the verge of starting some kind of brand new journey here, and you're making choices between family, between staying where you live or going somewhere else, between a relationship and family, or maybe between your career, all these choices taking place, and it's scary. Whenever we are going somewhere by ourselves, where we've never been, where no one we know has ever been, it is scary. So you're making this choice right now and it's okay, so just give yourself some time and space, alright? We have here Knight of Wands. The movement forward is going to be very fast. Things are going to be moving very fast for you and this year too. Ten of Swords. Sorry. Ten of Swords and the Chariot. I think what's done is done what's finished here is finished and there's only movement forward as long as you continue moving forward i see that here you have so many people interested in you we're going to also take a look at this in the extended but i feel like this ex from the past is still hurting over you of the fact that you moved on and right now you're attracting i feel like at least two different people here could who could be interested in you one could be more like a water sign individual another one could be more like very business type they don't have to be earth sign but i feel like there is this very much like business like you know executive even type of vibe from, from them and i feel like the person who is more creative and artistic that you're connecting to or maybe spiritual they're afraid they don't have to give you enough is what i'm giving uh, is what i'm feeling and like there is a lot of different people of all kind but this person like i feel like lacks confidence a little bit i do think that there is for you a person who is ultimately the one you will end up with. I feel like you found the one. Let's take a look. Which one is the right option for Gemini? We have here two of wands. I feel like it's somewhere, sorry, not two of wands, two of pentacles. I feel like there is no right, how to say, there is no way to answer this as one answer for all. But I feel like with the two of pentacles, you will have at least two options and you will need to choose here. Because with the sun and the moon, it's like this is complete. Two luminaries here. So you found the one here, but it's like up to you to make that choice. And it's tricky because what you might... It's tricky here because... It's almost like it's not fully out there in the open. It's a little bit confusing right now. You have here Dolphin Spirit. And even this card says this and that and true. I don't know, two soulmates here? Or with the moon and the sun, usually this is a card of masculine and feminine. However, I feel like maybe even these people you're connecting with one could represent also and connect with one aspect of yourself while the other connects with the other. But I feel like there is two people here, at least, who are very much connected to you and who could be very much in alignment with what you want to manifest in your love life. Wow. And we have here Imrama. What, where are you being called to journey? So someone you also met while traveling. And I think you yourself, Gemini, are very drawn to travel right now. To maybe even meet someone while traveling. I think you could even meet someone while, while traveling. So I feel like you have a little bit of this free spirit a bit of this very free spirited energy at the moment like i feel like with the night of ones you want to travel and you want to explore and you want to explore even different things within yourself and all and all of that and i feel like at the same time you're very 
interested in diving deep, going deep, having deep experiences. You might be ready for your soulmate as well and to start something serious too. So it's like, you know, it's like a true Gemini energy. It's like, I can understand you because I have a lot of planets in Gemini. It's like you're feeling this and that and everything at the same time and it's okay. Take your time, but do know that you have options. Because again, I feel here because you're so free-spirited right now, you're so hard to kind of read and figure out. There is this King of Cups who is really in love with you. There is this King of Pentacles who wants to offer you something very tangible, very solid. And we also even have this ex from the past who is like Leo, Virgo, Casper maybe. And this person is just it's lonely without you, is on the search for spirit for something spiritual, is on the search for something deeper, focus on their career maybe because they, they still I feel like have feelings for you. But the question here is ultimately what do you what do you want, Gemini? And we're gonna try to figure out in the extended, we're gonna take a look at all these three people deeper, this um, King of Cups, King of Pentacles and this Hermit that I'm seeing here. If you're getting the extended, I will see you on the other side. For everyone else, the link to everything is in the description box. Do check out your yearly 2020 annual astrology prediction. It's very interesting. We take a look there at what happens for you in the year 2020 in second half. We also have that personalized available as well, where we get, I think, until December 1st, you get free classes and free free classes for astrology and Sarah. So thank you so much for watching guys. This shirt is available. I have Instagram as well, it's Astro in Wonderland. And thank you so much for watching guys. Again, do remember you have options and especially in December here, it's very apparent that you do have a lot of options. Thank you guys so much. I will see you soon, bye bye.